Have you ever taken a dab? Uh, I don't believe that I have. I think I my my days of reckless cannabis consumption were over before the dab was invented. Or at least before it made it to the region of the world that I lived in. I don't think that dabs existed until maybe like 2009, something like that. It's really, I, I kind of miss the, and again, as a non-partaker, at least for the most part, I, uh, I miss the era when pot was not legal in uh, Vancouver, but it was like the police didn't do anything about it. There used to be like, um, like little, I don't even know how to describe it. There used to be like weed farmers markets, like really sketchy, uh, like craft tables would be set up. And you would always see like 55 year old dudes selling dabs to like 14 year old kids in the park right outside of the train station and stuff like that. It was a, it was a wild, it's the wild west, man. Those were the days probably. Then they shut it down and I had to find a new revenue stream. That's when we started streaming a lot more. We got that Zaza in Colorado. They got the, the it, are more than 50% of states legalized now? Because it's becoming like, um, like in Vancouver, it went from like, when it was gray market, every single illegal weed shop, which opened like brazenly right in the face of law enforcement, which who cares, was called like, you know, Budzilla's Palace. And there would be like a T-Rex, like a, a, a dank green T-Rex, like with red eyes as a logo. And now they're all called like the Cannabis Cabana. And they're all built like an Apple store, except you can't look inside because it's probably illegal. As soon as they legalized it, it became like, it all became upscale and, you know, the, the edges got rounded off. But it all, I always laugh when we drive into Washington and like right over the border, there's, um, there's like a store that's like, you can buy legal weed here. And I'm like, I know. If I wanted to, I could buy legal weed where I live already. It's probably they probably invested money into lobbying to keep it illegal in Canada. They're like our our competitive advantage in business just completely fell apart.